In this episode of The Lit List, we pick right up where we left off, exploring the inner workings of Kenya's biggest record labels, which molded the music scene as we know it. This time, we're delving into Caliph Records and its biggest artists. Created in the year Y2K, Caliph Records beautifully steered Kenya's music into the new millennium, and that's in part very much thanks to the diverse talent of its artists. Based in California Estate, Caliph Records was where it was at for any artists who identified with the subgenre genge. Founded by Clemo and Juakali, the record label churned out top tunes for at least a decade. With artists like Flex, Ratatat, Choku, and Masha, Caliph had a number of artists who popularized the Caliph brand. Whether you were from D or South B, music brought everyone together. Among one of Caliph Records' most popular artists is Lady S. The premier female MC on the record label, Lady S delivered creative lines with plenty of sex appeal. She began rapping while in high school and was discovered after participating in Cyphers at Florida 2000 Nightclub. Signed to Caliph in 2002 by Clemo, the sky was the limit for this fierce female. As the Lady of Caliph Angels, Lady S released several tracks, including her biggest hits, Niki Mwona and Kilio. Unfortunately, the First Lady of Caliph passed on in a road accident in 2007, but her life lives on in her music. Jim Watt is also another unforgettable member of Caliph Records. James Wadigo Mburu, better known by his stage names, Jim Watt or Jim Wizzy, is yet another rapper who offered up great hits to the Kenyan public. His first Caliph produced track, Semanami Suiti, made its exclusive debut on the airwaves of Capital Femme, just days after he finished high school. Can you imagine? Making features in Jua Kali's album Kwa Album Yangu and Wanakimbia, the rising star was much sought after for collabos. Going solo, his track Sitoi Kitu Kidogo was part of a national anti-corruption campaign. Unfortunately, his early success led to his demise as he struggled with drugs for several years. Things are looking hopeful now, however, as he looks to a comeback with his latest release, Blunder, which came out in January 2018. Prince Wagenge, first not thank God for air, then airplay, then I'm about forgiveness for what I'm about to say. Pili Pili also had several hits, gaining airplay for his tracks Morale and more. Pili Pili is known for his Sausi lyrics that were popular in Nairobi's nightclubs. With spots such as Monte Carlo drawing in crowds with some of Pili Pili's nastiest rhymes, one can only imagine what people got up to in the dark. Known for great collabos, Pili Pili had a wonderful run with tracks such as Mpakache and Twendendani. Unfortunately, he never really was able to make an impact on a solo record. Meja was truly major. Relatable lines with an easy flow, Meja from Majengo always kept it 100. Drawing from life experiences, Meja's tracks often resonate with the masses. And why not? Akopo! Starting out as part of Ghetto Clan, Meja was later recognized for his talent through a Celtel talent search. He became a part of Caliph Records and has since kept the record label relevant even up to now. We got a bonus track for you. Considered an institution of Kenya's music scene, Paul Nunda, aka Juakali, is known in most circles as the man to have conceived Genge as we know it today. A co-founder of Caliph Records as well, he is the reason so many artists are able to call themselves Genge artists. The unique sound born out of the Caliph Records studio is now well recognized beyond the Kenyan borders. Jua Kali not only discovered lots of talent, he also proved he too had plenty of the stuff himself. The cornerstone of Genge is Jua Kali, who has released three albums, received five awards, as well as two award nods from MTV. With hit tracks like Ngeli Ya Genge and Ruka, Jua Kali gets mad respect. Still rolling out hits, Jua Kali remains an integral part of Kenya's music industry today. Nonini makes it to the top of the list. A prolific entertainer, Nonini's brand has stood the test of time. Adaptable as a chameleon, Nonini continues to churn out hits while staying true to his genge roots years after his start in 2002. Born and raised in Eastland's California estate, Nonini has represented Islando well over the course of his career. 
With hits such as Wikamu, Mtoto Mzuri, and Kiroro, Nonini is among Kenya's top artists, with seven awards to his name. Count him. And no wonder, on the mic, he is one bad Morasoka. Well, that's it for today's Lit List. If, however, you want to make sure you're always in the know, be sure to subscribe to none other than Capital FM's YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya. I'm Wanjira Longhour, out.